Hey guys, we're going to be playing the Dungeon and Dragons demo. Uh, never, well, I think when I was really, really young, I tried out playing the whole role game Dungeons and Dragons. I don't remember if I enjoyed it. Obviously, if I did, maybe it wasn't that long because uh, I don't remember playing it after. I think I played it once, maybe. To that, I don't remember playing it. Um, but when I was um, doing the whole film thing, uh, I did, not I didn't play it, but I watched some of my friends play it who were doing the tech, who were on the tech team. They are setting up and stuff, and they are playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I was uh, getting ready to film for the, the thing that they were doing the tech for. And so they were playing Dungeons and Dragons, they had this book with all these uh, like old type of weapons and stuff. So I don't know if that was a Dungeons and Dragons book or if they're just looking up weapons. I honestly don't know too much about Dungeons and Dragons, so not really knowing what to expect other than old like magic weaponry like RPG type type game. So I'm guessing. So let's go single player. Uh, create a character, obviously, because I haven't made one yet. Couldn't load one. <laughs> Um, see I could be a warrior, or a human fighter, I mean. The most uh, prominent citizenry of the Dalla glands. Humans are renowned for their resi resilience and ability to adapt to their to perilous situations. As fighters, they often face danger at the front line of battle, defending their party and attacking enemies Relentlessly, with little regard for personal safety. Sounds about right. Oh, are you gonna be an elf? Elven rogue. Elves are characters of nature, living in perfect around with the forest. As rogues, they can use their cunning and natural agility to great effect in battle, dealing huge amounts of damage to enemies, and then slipping away without. Rep uh, Repraise, reprisal. Yeah, can't speak. Okay. Um, oh, that's all you can choose from. We can't choose the um, what is that? Um, a dwarf or whatever. I don't know what they're called. Um, maybe I'll try both. I don't know if you can switch between characters, but I'll be a human first. It might be. I'm. I'm guessing it might. It might be one of the games. I'm not sure. So. Um, I guess I'll just put my name. Hmm. Well, it's supposed to be a role playing game, right? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna use old. Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. There we go. That works. Let's see. Shield. Whoops. Cancel. Um. Okay. I guess this is all my abilities. Okay, so I have to choose one that's toughness. Let's see, what's this? Mm, versatile talent. Uh, okay, your benefit from your fighting weapon talent uh, featured with both one handed and two handed weapons, giving you a one plus or a plus one bonus to attack rolls with one handed and two handed weapons. Fighter's Weapon Specialization, you gain a plus one bonus damage rolls when you hit with the attack using one, a one-handed weapon. So that's just for one-handed weapons. Deep gra er, Gash. Okay. When you deal ongoing damage on, t on a target, the range takes a negative two penalty and saving throws against the ongoing damage. That doesn't sound good, but I don't know. 
when you, oh, toughness. When you take this feat, feat you gain 15% more hit points per level. Fear shot, or far shot. Fear shot. Okay, when you take this feat, the range of your bows or crossbows increase. Well, do I have a crossbow? It looks like I don't. Like, it's not highlighted, so. I'll go with toughness and risk child talent. So. I guess it just gives you whatever weapons you get. I guess R one's a block. Oh, okay, so I'll just use this too. I'll just do one. Okay, so one for each should be good. Um. Okay, start game. Once you leave this screen, you will not be able to undo your points assigned. I don't care. It's a demo, man. Okay, so loading screen. The art it looks decent. Graphics it looks pretty nice. So uh, let's put off the wait and see. Ooh, mysterious clouds and mountains and shit. In the heart of Dagadam, deep within the ancient dwarven mines of Tethyamar, a great tower has been constructed. Oh, its no. sinister existence has remained a secret until now. Not a tower. Its creator is an agent of evil known as Resonus. Resonus. In the name of Bane, Dagadale will be mine. He doesn't look emo at all. At the end of this game, I will split my wrists and blood will rush everywhere. Oh. Then the game went because I'm an idiot slash my wrist. Do not be alarmed. Hey, I am Lauren so Arya. Sadly, with no time for long explanations, Dagger Day. I must sex with you quickly, for I have no Heroes, time. It must happen you now. You have been summoned here to defeat Resless, a powerful Zentarum and loyal servant of Bane. Yeah, it's like you're be switching out between characters, so it doesn't matter which Resless one you really choose. Resless is amassing an army to conquer Dagger Day. To this aim, he has constructed the Tower of the Void at the heart of this mine. Find the tower entrance. Scale its height and face its perils until you find Resless himself. My journey must end here, for my ties to the Dark Zentarum would place you in further danger. Please forgive me. Yes, for I had sex with him once, for I have his baby. We are connected now. Rests upon your courage. Sorry, I cannot help you. My husband will beat me if I do. Damn magical sorceress having sex with the enemy. Oh, yes, you are one person. Okay. I guess I'll play this twice then, most likely. Oh. So I can throw my axe with square. X is a slash. Circle is to throw a. I believe it's a health potion? What's triangle? Triangle is some arrow, but I don't know what it does. Boosh. Boosh. The tutorial reference and default button mapping players on I wasn't done reading. Your character is equipped and then automatically and saves you reach the checkpoints between different areas of the level. You can also save that oh. aw. <laughs> yeah. Skip fuck it. Okay. So, okay. You can um using the um D pad you can change the position of your screen. So, like, if you want to see further, you press down, it goes further. If you want to be zoomed in, you press up on the D-pad and zoom. What the fuck was that? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, why is there a giant building just popped out of nowhere right in front of my face? Okay. Shrap it Ha! This game looks interesting, actually. Most likely it's going to be a uh, PS, not PS3 exclusive, but like an arcade game. I don't think this is going to get a full release. Stand in front of lever and press triangle. Okay, so that's the action button, this triangle. 
New quest, Hero's Duty. It just said, uh, yeah, it says at checkpoints, I believe, so. Press X to perform a melee attack. Yes, I understand. It tells you, it's so obvious. It's right in front of your face. How did you not know this? Fuck you. Fuck you. Feel max. Fuck you. <laughs> Bitch. Ah. Fuck. Okay, the goblins are raiding our game. Our camp. Raiding our games. Raiding our games. Oh. Thank you, Moradin. I have run into you. Please, we need your help. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, I pick up this uh, diamonds and shit. Okay, I guess I gotta follow the map. What I gotta do. Can I jump? I don't, I don't know why, but I kept wanting to jump. I couldn't do it. Yeah, hey, cool. You probably use this gold to buy, I'm guessing, weapons and stuff later on in the game. Which I probably won't get to do because it's the demo, so. Whoa! Goblins! Press R1 to execute your character's class ability. So I have a shield. Okay, so that's cool. I get to block and shit. Ah, I probably would help if I was facing the dude. How do you open this box? Okay, so R1's block is basically what I'm saying. Haha. Uh -huh. Thank heavens you're here. Oh. Quick, you must help the others. Alright. What well, others? Explain to me. What the fuck? Flammy barrels? What is this, Donkey Kong? Bullshit. What the hell is going on? 